be shy. Come go say hi. The yellow ones on the tail. The oh, yeah, it's all. Uh -uh. Are you waiting for a fish to uh, pop in your hand? Uh, Babe. We'll get Riker. Ready? He's got fishy.
dig in there. Dig. Dig. Are you gonna throw it over there? Good job. Whoa. Whoa. Touch yeah. it. Touch it. Go ahead. You can pet him. Touch it. Just touch it like this. See? It's He's amazing. slimy. Okay, mm. say see you later, fish. Say bye bye. Say bye. Okay, I'm gonna let him go. You ready? There he goes. Back to his mom. Mom. <laughs> to a little party down the road and then uh, it's a little little ways down but it'll be okay because it's cool we're gonna get the mail first and yeah so it should be fun just a little outdoors party little snacks and stuff so I already hear music <laughs> apparently they've already started I was supposed to be at six, but I think they're uh, working on things a little early. You hear that, buddy?
Any more? Good morning guys, so I know I haven't been doing my weekly vlogs and stuff, um, there's just been a lot going on and I like the idea of filming each day, um, but I think I'm going to change it up, I know I keep saying that, <laughs> changing up a lot, I get bored easy uh, with things and I like to have change here and there. So. I still want to have some daily stuff because it shows a lot of Riker's growth and things he's accomplished, but um, I want to just add more beauty of life, I guess you say, because I feel like a lot of people take that for granted, and I just want to uh, share how I see the world, I guess, uh, so I'm trying to film like memories, uh, things I want to remember, and I know I've always done that, uh, but I just want to kind of add to it a little bit more and kind of show how I see the beauty of the world, I guess. Um, and as cheesy as that sounds, I know, but I, like I said, I feel like people don't appreciate the beauty of uh, the world sometimes. There's so many things to discover and so many things to see, and I... Sometimes when, like growing up, like I've always saw the beauty in things, but you know, I loved taking adventure walks and things like that, but Rikers really helped me to want to discover more and like stop and think of the little things because where his time as a child or you know, a little baby, it's so little and so small. And it changes so fast to him getting older and understanding things. And now that he is just starting to get to the point where he's asking questions and really wanting to discover things, I really want him to, like, learn a lot at an early age, I guess, um, and discover with him, if that makes sense. Even though I already know <laughs> a lot of things, but... I can still learn some things myself. Um, so I'll probably, you know, like if he finds something or we find something together that we can discover and um, learn together, then, you know, I'll film things like that and the beauty of, of things I find. And uh, special memories as always, because I like those. Uh, but he's probably wondering why I'm outside. My husband's out with a friend. So I thought that it would just come out. It's not, it's kind of hot, but it's the the wind is nice so I thought I would just film out here even though I look like crap because that's another story of why I haven't built filming but can you say hi? Hi. hi. Later. Yeah. Mommy was just filming. Uh, you need help? Uh, you need help? Uh, it doesn't come apart it's just the car see? It doesn't come apart, buddy. You can bring some cars out while you watch cars. Lately, uh, so the first thing is we've been trying to deal with Rocket because Rocket needs to be fixed. He got bit from something outside. We're not sure if it's a raccoon or a possum or what it is, but he needs to be fixed and checked. We got him appointment for shots and to see the the wounds they're healing they're just like bite marks and stuff but he's been really kind of low-key since then and very attached to me 
So there's just been a lot going on lately, um, so I haven't really thought about like filming things through the day, like I would forget and then I just got to the point where I ended up just saying, you know, it's fine as long as I get some sort of video up. So I put up the Funtown one um, and there's a couple other um, things I want to put up, I just got to edit it and everything. But there's just been a lot going on as far as um, my husband had to change jobs so that was kind of like unsure of for a little bit like we, you know it was kind of it was all quick and and he was able to change to another job quickly but um, just that moment where you're like oh no like what are we gonna do uh, that's the part where you know it gets a little a little less stressful but um it all worked out so that's good um and then on top of that Riker's been in his tantrums he's getting better he's understanding more so his tantrums, tantrums are starting to slow down um, and not be so much but it was just that point where he was really frustrated because he didn't understand why and he didn't care to stop and think why because he's still learning and still trying to understand things so that was just frustrating it was a lot on me you know my husband works through the week so it was just you know a lot on me and uh, it was kind of frustrating but um, he's starting to get better and so that will be good and uh, then the other thing is that I have um, thyroid issues which has been affecting me a lot and a lot of people don't really understand thyroid I mean I kind of grew up knowing about it but I never really fully understood it until I recently was diagnosed with it. Um, my mom's had low thyroid for a good portion of my life and I know how it affected her in the beginning before she had medicine so I know there's a lot to it but I never really fully understood it and it really affects you a lot. I mean it attacks your hormones so uh, your thy thyroid is what kind of balances your hormones and um, make things like normal in your in your body and when you don't have that it makes your home hormones crazy and so you'll break out a lot like my face has been breaking out every single day um, not like huge ones just tiny ones here and there I get a lot of whiteheads blackheads little uh, red bumps but it's frustrating when you want clear skin being 28 and your face is just <laughs> breaking out a ton it's uh, just irritating but and it's like no matter what I do with my natural stuff anymore that doesn't work usually using my natural stuff at you know doing it regularly um, helps a lot but it's not because it's internal it's what's happening inside and I've been eating good I've been drinking you know fairly good but I just have to get some medicine to help um, fix this because it's not gonna go away without um, the medicine. The other thing is it makes you extremely lethargic and tired. Some days I'm okay, I have a little bit of energy, um, but once I'm done doing things through the day, like cleaning, taking care of Riker, if I have to go on an errand, things like that, um, it really takes out a lot on me. And I don't like feeling that way. I like being able to have a lot of energy, working out, doing all kinds of stuff. But even working out makes things worse. And I had to put that on hold until I get medicine because my metabolism with this, because I have overactive thyroid, um, your metabolism is extreme <laughs> with that. Uh, you already have to eat a lot. You have to, um, you know, keep up with calories because you lose weight easily with it and I have lost a lot of weight um, compared to you know what I used to be eating normally so that's been just irritating because I have to constantly keep like you know eating so many hours and so many you know minutes whatever how I feel um, and then it can make you dizzy um, you get you can get brittle hair and brittle nails mine I just have brittle nails um, so that's kind of irritating but at least it's not my hair so far my hair hasn't been affected by it which is really good and I'm hoping that I'll have medicine by the time um, it starts to go that far because it has gotten worse my heart started racing which is not good 
Um, and I don't sleep good at night. It makes you restless at night, which is a big thing for me because when you're already tired and like lethargic from the thyroid issue to begin with, sleeping is one thing you really need. You need your sleep, especially if you have a toddler and you're dealing with it. You need your sleep, and I don't sleep good at night. I toss and turn. I'm never comfortable. Um, I'll wake up with my heart racing. I will wake up and just feel sick and nauseous and, you know, all that stupid stuff. Um, and I'm not pregnant because this one, one thing this gives you is some sort of pregnancy symptoms because it's hormone related, but you, you're not pregnant. Um, so that's been really frustrating because there's times where I'm like, oh, I could be and that would be exciting. Um, but it always turns out just to be my thyroid. So I can go into more detail about it. I can make a separate video about it. Um, just explaining, you know, some things. I can ask my mom some questions as well as far as maybe some symptoms that she has that I don't because there are a few differences, a few differences between low and high. And uh, that way maybe if there's people out there that have to deal with this or just recently found out like me, um, they can maybe get some insight on some of it and what to do. There are natural ways, but it's just you have to do the right research and you have to get the right medicine or the right um, vitamins for it because if you don't then it's not gonna really work so I would like to do that way but because my my uh, heart starting to race and everything it's not good for my heart so I need to uh, just get medicine and maybe later on down the road when I do more research I can get the proper vitamins so that's a, another thing you can decide so I might make a video on this um, if you are interested or know somebody who might be interested um, leave a thumbs up or comment or something like that so that way I know to make that video but that's where I've been you know as far as you know not making videos but um, I'm gonna try my best to do what I said as far as just finding the beauty of life because I feel like people just lack on that they just concentrate on the negatives and the problems that we have in life and there's so many people who are sick who are dealing with issues um, who have tragedies who have so many things happening and it's so easy to get caught up on that stuff and I just want to not really shed light because that's a term that's been used a lot. I guess I want to just add some perspective on the positives that you can see out in, in life and enjoy while you're dealing with this because positive helps you so much more than just dwelling on the negative. So I guess I don't want to do that. So I'll try <laughs> to do little videos like that um, and do some weekly videos because Riker's making a lot of progress as far as talking and things and I want to capture that for memories so I don't know how much more I will film today so if this is it then I'm going to say goodbye but if not then you'll probably see more after this clip so I hope that you all are doing good and I hope that things are well and I will probably see in my next video if I don't add to this one so bye Go! Ding, ding. Whee! <laughs>